Good evening and welcome to the online premiere of Pauchi Sasaki's Kuku. I'm Sebastian Zubieta, I'm the music director at American Society, and I'm joined here by the composer, Pauchi Sasaki. We'll, we'll talk about the piece, how it came about, and what you're about to see. Hi, my name is Pauchi Sasaki, and I am the composer of Kuku. Uh, this piece was composed uh, during the pandemic uh, crisis. So um, at the beginning, the idea was to premiere the piece in a uh, public space like the Brooklyn Bridge Park. But uh, when all the, the world uh, 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 was under lock, stopped and uh, became under lockdown, um, we decided to do a premiere, online premiere. So that's when I called my friend, uh, my very good friend, uh, Juan Carlos Yanaura, who is the video artist of the cool video you will see. We had already an idea uh, to do something with uh, 3D. I asked my, our good friend Omar Lavalle, who we are all part uh, of a collective of artists with my sister Nomi Sasaki and uh, lighting uh, designer uh, Franklin Quintanilla, so we are five. So we were talking, oh, we have this project. And he said, oh, why don't you uh, scan the musicians? Uh, right. Because, <laughs> because uh, nobody can go out from their confinement spaces. Juan Carlos came up with a super detailed uh, tutorial for each musician. So they can, uh, each of them, uh, uh, scan themselves uh, and also their confinement spaces. And that's the material you all will see in the video. People are, as Fauci mentioned, they are in their own houses all over the U.S. Fauci is in Lima, and that's what you will see. One interesting thing to the audience, again, that this technique is they took their phones. There are some apps used for this that uh, Fauci and Juan Carlos researched, and they, they kind of did like this with their phones, and they took photos that became what you will see. Now, um, Soundwise. So this is also these people are also the people that perform the music, right? It's the so we will see seven characters in the in the video, which are all the musicians. And what is the music about? Cuckoo means in Quechua the language from the Andes. It means a green fruit, like a fruit that just became to life but is not ready. Uh -huh. uh, it's like in the middle of the uh, its perfect timing. So uh, it's waiting for the perfect timing, no? It's a fruit uh -huh. that is waiting. I wanted this piece to have a new energy, like something that I didn't do before, uh, something more colorful, <laughs> happier, uh -huh. no? And now um, this was a challenge because uh, at the beginning, this piece was meant to be like a, a, a solo for percussion and then the, the strings, uh, quintet and electronics were going to support the percussion uh -huh. section. But since everything changed and uh, I realized that we were not going to be able to meet in person, I decided to change uh, the, the weight of the piece. Uh, instead to put all the weight in the percussion, to put it to to the electronics so I uh, work with a old sampler I, have. I started to build on top of this sam sampler this is a very new uh, oh. uh, process that I started and it was difficult but at the end uh, I found my way and uh, something very beautiful about this process is that uh, we started to work section by section we were going uh, together it's not like i finished the piece and then he made a video no we were uh, working uh, like section a okay let's do it together and in that uh, sense i think we really did a very good collaboration where uh, each process uh, impacted uh, very uh, strongly uh, to each other I left to Paris in December, so that's the last time I saw him. And Juan Carlos actually lives pretty close, like five minutes uh, by car. And but we don't see each other uh, face to face <laughs> since December. Right. And also, it was super interesting to work uh, remotely with the musicians. I have to say, they were super super cool. 
just share a bit of how the materials came together. As we said, people were all over the United States. And what happened? How did you get the stuff up to? So I started uh, by sending the, uh, the score to the musicians. But we, of course, we had the problem that no, no one could go physically to a professional studio. Right. So uh, at the end, uh, most of the material was uh, captured by a, by a cell phone. So in this sense, this project is super DIY. And right. um, some of the musicians had pre-professional uh, pre equipment that was cool, but others didn't have. We use a click track to, uh -huh. so each musician can uh, record. And then we put all together here in Lima in Pro Tools and, and work on the mixing. In the visual side, every single musician was super uh, supportive with the project because they learned how to, to scan their spaces themselves. They, they got some help there. And they sent all the visuals to Juan Carlos and then he put them all together in his program, 3D program. Mm -hmm. I was very worried as well as a lot of people about uh, the life of the musicians, no? yeah. how this pandemic impacts our, uh, our profession and right. our art making. And I was, by that time in, in March, April, I was thinking a lot about all these um, uh, people that can't perform live, that all the, the shows were canceled, all the tours were canceled as well. I, I had also a lot of uh, projects canceled. Yourself, so, right? yes, myself. So I, I was like, oh, but how uh, people, musicians are coping, no? How they are uh, 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 experiencing this quarantine, no? So really this, this video uh, talks about this, uh, this very specific time in, in our history. Thank you, Pauchi. Now we will have the world premiere, uh, online world premiere of Cuckoo by Pauchi Sasaki and Juan Carlos Genaura. It is performed by string members of the, of the Knights, uh, Chamber Orchestra based in New York City, Nanai Iwata, Emily Smith, Kyle Armbrust, Jane Kors, and Logan Cole. They're joined by percussionist Haruka Fuji, who recorded all in different places. Before we start, I want to thank, of course, Pauchi and Juan Carlos for doing this. Pauchi, we've been working on this for a number of years. I'm so happy that it's finally happening. As the audience knows, commission projects take a long time, and it's beautiful when they finally come to fruition. So thank you for doing it, and we're very happy. I want to thank the organizations that make our concert series possible, and this commission in particular, MedLife Foundation, uh, supports the Music in America's concert series. The New York City Department of Cultural Affairs also supports us. And for this specific project, we got uh, support from the Sorrel uh, organization, and from the National Endowment for the Arts. So we thank them very much for their support. And now, thank you, Pauchi, and now uh, enjoy Cuckoo. Against a black cavernous space, three-dimensional animations of seven rooms pulsating with the music, each enshrouded in white lace-like webs. Fragments of missing walls and floors replaced by intricate webbing. Passing through each room, the white intersecting strands outline and isolate each object, building ghostly specters. In flashes, fragmented furnishings reform into realistic contents of the artist's rooms. Through a wall, Floors then disappear into carefully knotted macrame. An irregular plume of green wrapped in webbing floats outside a set of windows. The ghostly rooms of white webbing float against a black universe. Slowly, the rooms spin, turning one into the next each a spectral image of its original self. White webbing forms ghostly outlines of a couch with pillows, a fireplace, a piano. Diamond-shaped patterns, loosely knotted together, spread across the floor 
while densely woven mesh disguises each wall. A wooden bookshelf filled with books, a black couch, a radiator, are visible within the lacy mesh. Columns of woven shapes float across the black expanse. In a studio, musical instruments are camouflaged beneath draping webs as the room slowly turns in space. Indistinct shapes, molded and softened by clusters of woven threads. The greenery of potted plants push through their white blankets to stand in full color. A room devoid of most furniture, ghostly forms of things not really there. A shrouded landscape of green floats past an open window. In another room, the webbing congeals into human form. As color begins to fill the room, a woman is standing beside a set of floor drums. Behind her, a marimba, and to her left, a glockenspiel and vibraphone. The studio, now fully visible, reveals a work table with dozens of drumsticks and mallets. Barefoot, she stands on a white rug. In another room, Still shrouded by fragments of webs, another woman stands, playing a small electric keyboard attached to a laptop. As the room slowly spins, five identical images of her repeat in different areas. Now in a room with no white webbing, a barefoot man plays a viola. His image is reflected by a full-length mirror leaning against the wall. A woman wears a pink dress and plays violin in a room with large windows. A zebra print chair is near a tall plant, an electric piano under one window. Geometric black shapes break up the view of the trees outside the windows, which appear to have broken panes of glass. A barefoot man sits on a tall stool playing a double bass in a room with a fireplace and upright piano. Two small harps are stored in the corner, next to a Chinese two-door lacquered cabinet. A barefoot woman plays a violin in a living dining room. She faces an ornate gold mirror leaning against one wall. As the room rotates, another wall breaks into shards like a calder mobile. The room blurs into another living room, where another barefoot woman is playing a cello. Behind the broken shards of the wall, the first woman still plays. In the cluttered percussionist studio, the walls break and reassemble to reveal the man playing viola in his carefully arranged living room. From above, the rooms grow smaller and float out into the black expanse. Our view slowly floats through the room with many windows, very thinly veiled by knotted webs and strands. Then we pass through the window into the darkness beyond. Outside, a fragment of green lawn and trees cocooned within woven white lacy robes. A galaxy-like extension of stars forms a ramp to this landscape. On this ramp, a wooden circle of flooring rotates. The seven musicians, arranged around the edge of the circle, face inward toward each other. We look down upon them. Then, from the side, they are encircled by mountains and valleys of a connective web which slowly disappears. 
Small, twinkling white lights form a glowing orb above the center of the rotating musicians. This small, spinning galaxy of stars tilts and turns as it dances above them. Our view slowly moves up and away from the musicians into the vast black expanse around them. Now, hills and craters of an icy landscape are revealed to be a nose, eyes, and face of a musician. Each musician's head is carved in crystal, and as each diaphanous head turns, the scene behind changes a sunset over the ocean, twinkling stars in a dark night sky, mist in a forest glen, snow-covered fir trees, a rocky cliff. Light from each landscape plays upon each translucent skull, passing through, illuminating and reflecting, sometimes glowing pink, yellow, dark green, blue, silver, through the cracks and fissures. Molten, alive, a golden sunrise. A flash and a beam of yellow light shoots up from the top of the head through the blue and green aurora borealis. We follow the beam up into the sky, blanketed with stars. Cuckoo by Pauchi Sazaki. Cuckoo was composed and recorded during the COVID-19 sanitary crisis. Musicians from Ithaca, New York City, Berkeley, and Lima captured a 3D scan of themselves in their confinement spaces. Most of the visuals and instruments were recorded with cell phones. Video artist Juan Carlos Yonora. Voices in electronics, Pauchi Sazaki. Violin, Emily Smith. Nanai Awata. Viola, Kyle Armbrust. Cello, Jane Cords. Contrabass, Logan Cole. Percussion, Haruka Fujii, mixed by Carlos Cuya. Cuckoo was commissioned by America's Society. Dedicated to Aikam Lo Sazaki. Thank you for watching and good night. Bye. Bye.